Welcome back to the show. We're taking your mortgage questions in this morning's Ask the Expert. Joining us now is Vince Ingui from Levere's Mortgage. Thank you so much for coming in. Good to be back. Thank so our you. first question today is from a Philadelphia viewer. She writes, how can you buy a home that has been foreclosed for mortgage only? She says, when I contacted both the mortgage company and my bank, they said these homes can only be bought by auction. Hmm. Not necessarily true. Um, when you're buying as your primary residence, uh, we have some programs that allow for the same amount that you would normally buy if it weren't under foreclosure. Where okay. it comes a little tricky sometimes is when you're doing it as an investment property. Uh, a lot of times it requires that you put more money down, sometimes 20, 30 percent as far as the down payment. As an investment property, the logic behind that is that it's a riskier loan. Um, what mm -hmm. happens is the real life scenario is that either the investor is buying for a friend, someone that they know, a family member, and that family member usually tries to take over the payments. If they weren't able to make the payments to begin with, how are they going to make them after they buy the property? So investment property is much more difficult, but for primary residents, there are plenty of programs out there that are available, and, and we've got them. Huh. All right, let's get to your second question. Take a listen. What would be the responsibility of the real estate agent after the house has been sold? Does, I mean, do they just drop you afterwards? Uh, is it, do they help contact. you for, right, stay in contact with you? Do they, I mean, is it six months? Is it a year? Well, the real, it's up to the real estate agent, obviously. It's their individual responsibility. Uh, the National Association of Realtors put out a uh, statistic a couple of years ago, which kind of rings to this, to this question, is that 66% of home buyers would use the same realtor. They say that at the closing table when they're polled. The reality is that only 15% actually do. Um, and that just goes to say that, um, in general, um, there's probably not as much follow-up as there should be. The best realtors in the business obviously stay in touch with their clients because it is about the relationship, not just about the transaction. And to be honest with you, the realtors that I've worked with before, for the most part, have, you know, have stayed in touch with their clients and uh, you know, either revisit with them every six months or every year, just like we do. But there's nothing mandating that. It's up to the individual realtor to make sure that they follow through with the client. Hopefully they get it because there is a, there's a win-win relationship sure. when, you can, when you can keep that going. For Absolutely. Sure. Who knows? And they might buy a gazillion dollar home after that. Exactly. All right. Here's our next question. Um, can you recommend any first-time home buyer programs in this area? That's a good one. Yep. Lots of first-time home buyer programs available. There's more available today than there were yesterday. Um, mm -hmm. And you can get them from a variety of sources. One, of course, would be the government. So there are state grants, um, you know, sometimes to the county or the city and bonds available for first-time home buyers. Um, you can, you know, get, let's say, sometimes up to $5,000 towards settlement, uh, which is provided by the government. Um, if you don't qualify for those, sometimes that's a small box that you have to fit into. There are also plenty of conventional programs that are available for first-time home buyers as well. So for somebody sitting at home right now and they're interested in a program, they want to get a house, but they need a little bit of help, where do they go? They can contact Levere's Mortgage, okay. Levere'sMortgage.com. We're available, obviously, through MyFoxPhilly.com on the website. Or, you know, deal with someone locally, of course, that uh, you refer to. Um, and there's plenty of information online. If you just type in first-time home buyer in, uh, in a Google search, you'll get a lot of information about what programs in, are available for you. Okay, well, hopefully we help somebody this morning. Vincent, so. thank you so much for coming Always in this morning. Always a pleasure. Thank you, Chanel. Clayton, over to you.